Hello and thank you for choosing to watch this video introducing the A-level music course at Christleton High School. Um, you'll see from the title screen there that the course we run um, is with the OCR exam board and my name is Mr Phillips and I'm here to explain to you a little bit about what you should expect from the course if you choose to study music at Christleton Sixth Form. The first thing that students often uh, want to know is why they might choose to study music as a subject. Um, perhaps one or more of these reasons might apply to you. Perhaps your passion is in performance or listening to music, creating new music of your own, understanding the way music has developed and why. Perhaps you have an interest in the theoretical language of music. Um, maybe some, some, some of those apply to you and those would be good reasons to consider studying music at A level. So the actual course content then is combined of the same three elements that you have been used to um, if you've studied music previously at GCSE or in any other way. Um, so there's elements of performance, composition and then listening and appraising via a written exam. Now you'll see there that some of the percentages have got slash values and that's because the OCR A-level music course actually includes an option to specialise in either performance or composition in terms of your coursework. So if you were to feel that performance was the strongest element for you, you could opt to have 35% of your course um, covered by performance and 25% for composition or vice versa, if composition is a stronger uh, discipline for you. And we talked to you about those options during the course and it's an individual choice. The other 40%, as is always the case with A-level music in any exam board, is the listening and appraising exam at the end of year 13 in your final summer. So the course is 60% coursework and 40% written exam. So in terms of the performance then, um, your job as a student will be in the second part of the final year of your course to perform and record a continuous music recital of either eight minutes or 12 minutes, according to various criteria and to certain standards and mark schemes and so on that we would discuss with you in detail. So you should consider this if you've ever sat at a practical music exam, eight to 12 minutes is about the amount of playing time you might do at grade six-ish. Um, if you haven't done any exams, then I'm sure you can work out what an eight or 12 minute recital would probably uh, feel like three or four pieces. A playing standard of around grade six is expected in order to achieve all of the marks. It's important to remember though that you've got until the end of the course to achieve this level. So if you're around grade four or five standard at the moment, then that would be absolutely fine. And I'll talk more about that later on. The other element of coursework is of course, composition, creating your own new music. And if you were to choose the larger percentage, you would complete two compositions, which I'll talk about shortly. But in addition, you would do three short composition technical exercises. That might seem a little bit unfamiliar to you at the moment and that's absolutely fine. The other alternative for 25% is you just complete the two compositions the same. So that's quite straightforward. One of those compositions in either case percentage wise is always completely down to your individual and personal choice. You can compose in any style and genre for any instruments, um, using acoustic instruments, electronic instruments, sampled instruments even. Um, it's a very free choice. The other composition is one that you write to a brief set by the exam board. In fact, they set four briefs and we will explore those when they're released um, early in year 13 and then you'll write a composition in response to one of those only. And then the final 40%, as I mentioned earlier, is made up of the written exam. So more than half of the course is practical, but you do have to study for this written exam at the end for the other 40%. And there's a breakdown there of the sections on the exam. 
um, which you may or may not be particularly interested in this at this stage, but essentially section A is short one, two, maybe three mark questions asking you about musical details in some music that you will not have previously studied. Section B is 40 marks, and these are four 10 mark questions, but these are about pieces of music that you will study during the course, more about those later. And the final section is two essay style questions um, regarding the other areas of study. So your first set work, um, if you, uh, study music at Christleton for summer 2024, which of course is when you would um, sit your exam. Your first set work would be one movement only from uh, a Beethoven piano concerto, number four, in fact, in G major. Um, this may or may not be your particular taste in music, but the point really is to understand how the piece has been composed. It's an academic study of the score, trying to understand how a composer, in this case Beethoven, constructs a piece of music using melody and harmony and rhythm, texture and all of the other elements that we talk about in music. And area of study two is the popular song, blues, jazz, swing and big band. We're sort of talking from the 1930s to the late 1970s is the area that this um, area of study covers. And your practitioner for 2024 would be Mel Torme and that particular album and those four songs. So we study those four songs. And again, we understand how they've been put together and, and created by the musicians involved. Most students find area of, stu area of study two uh, very interesting um, because it's unusual to actually sit and analyse a, a big band song at A-level music um, and we enjoy that immensely. There are of course two other areas of study and these are the two for which you write your essays in the final exam. One is programme music, that's music that tells a story essentially. And the other is innovations in music. In other words, 20th century music and, and what's happened to, um, to music uh, over that period of time. If you're considering music at Christleton for A-level, um, it would be ideal if you've achieved a grade five or above in GCSE music, or perhaps an equivalent course in music but also we would like you to speak to us if you don't think you meet those entry requirements, but perhaps you have a significant amount of musical experience that you think um, means that you'd be able to study music at A level. So it's really important that you talk to us if you think you don't meet those criteria. Grade five standard, uh, grade five as in practical, so associated board or rock school or Trinity Rock and Pop or LCM and so on. We would like you to be about grade five standard on your main instrument or voice, um, but you don't necessarily have to have taken any exams. You might just be, you might just have been playing for a number of years and you know that, or your teacher can tell you that you're at about grade four or five standard and that would be good because you'd be able to reach grade six standard at least by the end of the course. Of course, the most important requirement is enthusiasm and passion for music. If you have that, then there is a strong chance that you will succeed um, with A-level. We feel that we offer um, plenty to our students, um, including some of those things there on the board. Christleton High School has an excellent reputation for music and the performing arts generally, and we're very proud of our accomplishments. We offer a number of extracurricular musical activities, some of which you can see on the screen here, and we would hope to involve our A-level students in one or more, or perhaps all of those. We've previously performed very well with this qualification, um, achieving 100% A star to B in the summer just past. And during the term of the course, around 75% of our students have achieved those top grades. 
Thank you very much for listening to this uh, short presentation. We hope very much to see you next September. If you do have any questions at all about the course, about the entry requirements, about music at Crystalton generally, anything that you'd like to know, please do email me. My address is there, Phillips with an extra S at the end at crystaltonhigh.co.uk. Thank you again for listening.